Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. This is an action figure, this is a vehicle, this is the Snowspeeder. Um, I'm going to get up close and personal with this thing in just a moment, so stay tuned. Uh, this this vehicle did come with the Dak Rolter action figure, so stay tuned for that too, because I'm going to do an individual figure review on that one, just so I can get a little bit up close with each one without having one take up the other. Um, if that makes any sense at all. It, I know it doesn't. Um, so yes, yeah, stay tuned. Let's get a close up look at the snow speeder. All right, so here we go with the snow speeder. What an absolute mammoth thing this is. Um, now I just, just want to quickly do a size comparison to the vintage collection one that I got in 2010, maybe 2011. Um, so I've always had this thing in mind when I think of snow speeders, but have a look at that. This Black Series one eats it up for breakfast. So I'll put that one back out of the way, and we'll get into this thing here, because um, this is this is absolutely awesome. All right, so I do have a trusty butter knife here, because some of these little openings are just... They're very tight, which is a good thing. I just don't have the strength in my fingernails to, to do this. So we'll, we will look at some of these like opening features and compartments as I get through the video. Um, so we'll start with the cockpit. And that's all I really needed it for, just to pop that open. It is quite thick. So we're just gonna get a look inside here. You can see next to the seat here, uh, these are some of those little grenade things that Luke throws into the ATST. Uh, sorry, ATAT. Um, the back two there are uh, part of the mold, whereas these ones are loose. So you can remove them and have one in Luke's hand. Uh, same with this front one here, but they do just sort of slot into a little eyelet. Um, so they're nice and stable in place. Uh, both these seat belts harnesses are able to pop out of the top of the seat. Uh, that one's still a little bit tight, that's fine. It just gives you more access to get that figure in there, which is really good. Um, and then the controls are really detailed inside. Obviously that's the, uh, the co-pilots bit there. I like the handles that actually pull down from the canopy there. Now if we get around to the front, The throttle yokes there as well. There's the console. Plenty of room down there for Luke's legs. So you can get them in there really nicely. There's some detailing underneath the canopy there. I may even look at some photo reference to see if there's any other colours I can add into there just to give it a little bit more punch. But overall, that's pretty good. So that's the inside of the cockpit. That's really well done. All the nice little details along the sides here. Little different controls for the control panels. Looks quite good. That holds on nice and firm. It's really nice and tight. Now these cannons do come off. And uh, there is a little bit of Orabesh written there. And also there. Uh, this this sentence here says, do not step, laser cannon power supply located under panel. And this one here says, laser access panel. So that's kind of cool, we get some details like that. Um, the cool thing about this side is, if I put it down, get a nice tilt going on here, a little bit of zoom action. Um, this actually pops out. <laughs> Believe me, it does. That's quite tight. Um, yeah, it just sort of clips in there. And then this panel comes off to show a little bit of detail in there, which is really nice. It's a nice feature. It's not one solid color. I mean, most of it is, but it looks like it's had a little bit of a wash over it just to give it a little bit more depth. So that does just sort of slot back on there. And this is Quite a tight, quite a tight fit actually. So I may just leave that off for the moment. 
Got it. <laughs> Zooming out again. Now the other thing we have here is the wing flaps. The sort of steering steering flaps. Now they do just sort of pop up like so, so they are sort of lifted, lifted off, and then they pivot back. So you got one of them on each side. So if you wanted to display this thing in uh, flight mode, you'd have absolutely have them open. And raring to go. So coming around to the back of the thing, this is where, this is a cool feature as well they've added. So they do have these other flaps here that sort of, they just lightly pop out. Uh, not really any purpose to them, uh, but that's fine. The cannon was uh, had to be put in, and then we get the uh, pull string here for the tow cable. And you can peg this tiny little bit just onto the side of the cannon, like so. Um, and we go underneath another little tight hatch where the string is bundled up so you can pull that back through stuff it back in kind of close it up nice and tidy so we do have the landing gear under here as well so they just simply just tuck back in like so same on the other side and then the uh, central central foot here sort of folds back in it and then the hatches close. Well, I'm going to leave them open for now uh, just it's a little bit easier to display and I've broken one off. It's not broken I will pop that back on. I saw Fly Guy did the same thing. <laughs> um, we're all only human. So yes yeah, it's just really nice weathering throughout the thing. Nice details this sort of scarring, I like that the mould actually shows there is some nicks and dents, it's not just painted on. Same down here, you see the sculpt is sort of actually taking a beating. You know, these are just sort of, it'd be a surplus, surplus craft that the, the rebels have uh, taken with them to Hoth and, you know, they say they're having trouble adapting them to the cold, like these are probably just regular air speeders, but, uh, you know, it's what they had, that's all they had you know to defend them so they had to make them adapt and it's sort of a janky old speeder that they took out to try and take out some AT-ATs and uh, they did pretty well for the most part <laughs> obviously so that is the snow speeder um, I, apart from all the details and stuff there is some great stuff on here um, just, yeah little bits and pieces and cannons that fall off you know I did say there were sort of janky janky rebel ships um, I do like that the glass has sort of almost got like a icy fog to it it's not beautiful and clean uh, underneath I like that they've used these patches to cover up most of the screw holes there are you know five on show down here but these are all other bits and pieces that they've um, covered over so for the assembly uh, that's really nicely done. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look at getting a display stand for this thing and finding somewhere to put the damn thing because it's pretty damn big. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Next video will be Dak Rolta. Um, we'll get a close look at the figure that goes with the set. And uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up there. So until the next video, guys, may the force be with you. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.